The one thing better than weight loss is that as we age, we should not lose our function. Back in your day should never be words that you speak because you should be the best that you can be right here and right now. But gym goers and even those that don't go to the gym often get mixed up with what's important when it comes to working out. And so today, I'm gonna tell you that weight loss isn't the goal, that aging well is your ultimate, ultimate goal. So let's look at ability. Number one, I've got young kids. My kids often fall asleep in the car. So what's one thing that we have to do? Well, we don't wanna wake them up because we know they're gonna get cranky. So we have to pick them up from the car seat, we have to carry them into the house, take their boots off, and then lay them down onto the bed or the couch so that they don't get awakened. And so what does that require? It requires a ton of ability. It requires a ton of stability. It requires a ton of strength. And so if you want to build that strength and maintain that strength, then you can start to do upper body flies and you can do an upright row. Now what about all these boxes that come from Amazon and they're delivered to our front door? Now these guys are built for that. They go in and out of the truck. They carry all random weights and sizes and this and that. But when we go to pick up that box and we don't know what's in it and that box weighs a ton, we gotta be able to use our legs, our core as a functional strength. And so what you need to do is squats. Now what about getting out of bed? This is something that a lot of us take for granted. So if you've ever tweaked your back or maybe you've, you've tw tweaked a rib, Try getting out of bed and tell me how difficult that is. Now, as we age, we tend to neglect our abs, and so we lose the ability to just simply get out of bed. So if you wanna maintain that ability, then what I would suggest is to do full sit-ups. Now, what about getting in and out of the car, depending on the size of your car? I've had a massive car where I had to use a, a handle and a step rail, which is super difficult because it's so unstable and with Winnipeg, the weather's unpredictable, so it could be slippery and you gotta be able to pull your body up and get in. Now, what about if your car is low? Then you gotta be able to squat down and rotate in. And so when it comes to getting in and out of the car, you require stability, you require mobility, and you require strength. And so one of the exercises I would tell you would be a single leg step up. Now, what about going downstairs? All of us have the capability of going upstairs, but one of the things that makes people move the most when it comes to their functional ability is going downstairs because of their crickety knees. And the thing about your body is that if you don't use it, you lose it. So your ability to go downstairs properly, pain-free, is going to decrease if you're not using those body parts properly. So one of the things that I would tell you to do is to start sitting on your knees for flexibility. Now these are just five of the many movements that you're gonna wanna do to keep you healthy and aging well into your 50s, 60s, 70s, and beyond. So if you aren't working out, then you need to start. And if you are working out, then you should never start. Because all the work you do in the gym and in the kitchen seem very long, seem boring, and seems like it's never gonna stop. But you gotta remember this. Everybody talks about retirement and their financial savings but none of those financial savings mean anything if you can't live on your own. So, go work out. If you're looking for a great workout, go to www.fitclub.fit, mention the five days, and we'll keep you functional forever.